Yow! What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we got early reveals for the All Madden promo, which is dropping later today in Mutt 24. A lot to go over, so let's jump right on into it. Now, earlier this morning, there was server maintenance. The game is back online. You can go in and play it. It was to prepare for the new content, again, that's coming out at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time today. Day. and also we got a brand new patch not a big patch not a big file size but they did say on GMM this morning that one of the main things that addressed was catching on both offense and defense so maybe we can now play without gift wrapped on our quarterbacks and hopefully that leads to less drop interceptions we shall see as people start to play the game also the most feared field pass as it stands right now is gone now I get where there was some confusion on this because if you were on this screen and went to the field Field pass it did it say that it did say that it expired today and that's exactly what happened but if you went into the field pass for example like I will do with the season 2 one in the upper left and this is for the most feared field pass it said that it had two weeks left so totally understand the confusion not sure if it's going to come back I did reach out to EA on this one to see if I can get some clarification hopefully I get an answer very soon I don't have one as yet as of yet uh, and the treat store is still available that one has a countdown timer on it remember treats will convert for every one treat is going to equal five coins at 1 30 p.m eastern time so you basically have about two two and a half hours to spend those treats before all of these options go away and they get converted over to coins let's talk about the all madden promo easily so far one of the best drops that we've seen because these cards are really really good and i don't know what they're going to end up price wise but if you invested in 88 overall cards, you might be making a lot of coin right now. Let's go into the reveals, and we're going to start with a free John Madden left tackle card that you can earn. So it's going to start with a welcome pack, and that welcome pack will give you this 83 overall. Now, hopefully, we don't have issues with that. We know welcome packs have not been very good, smooth this year so far. Hopefully, we don't run into that. Um, but this card, you're going to be able to earn two tokens that upgrade him to an 87 overall, and this is the part I don't like to get him to an 88 overall which would look like this you're gonna have to use a little bit of training i don't know how much they should have just put three tokens in the game and allowed you to get him to 88 overall for free hopefully that training amount is very minimal but the w's on the card is that he's gonna get all 32 team chems it's also at a position that you don't want to spend your coins on but it is important for your mutt team and at the end of the day, it's the guy who the game's name is after. So for the All Madden promo, to get a free John Madden is a W. The strength is low. Luckily, one of the main boosts that you get when building a theme team is strength. So being that he gets 32 team cams, shouldn't be too difficult to get that up to an 85 or 86. But he has really good pass and run block and awareness as well. So to me, this is a W. Now, we are going to get 91 overall cards. And one of the main things from this promo are these ability tokens so you can earn these tokens i think at least one for free that will unlock additional ability buckets i didn't get a chance to get all of that information down it will be on mutt.gg we'll talk about it briefly within this video but basically this token will unlock a final ability bucket that gives you act access to a bunch of abilities we haven't seen yet in this year's game but they are a lot a lot of times three and four ap which is really expensive when you only have seven to use on offense and defense let's go over the cards we start with an eagles legend right tackle john runyon 91 overall 91 strength 87 awareness 91 pass block 92 run block best right tackle in the game more than likely and for me and most eagles players or theme teamers uh we now got ourselves left tackle john madden right tackle john runyon that's going to solidify that offensive line if you're building an eagles theme team so w there and he has played for a couple other teams as well he's not only an eagles legend actually he is but he has played for a couple other other teams so there's card number one card number two Derek thomas the only bad thing i'll say about this card is that we have way too many outside linebackers and when you factor in the free micah parsons the free terry tate 
Do you really need to spend coin on this one? Probably not, but it is a really good card. Don't get me wrong. We're just overloaded at this position. This is strong safety, but 90 speed, 91 power move, 92 block shed, even finesse move at 86 is good. Strength and tackle and acceleration. This card is cracked. Might actually be one of the best, if not the best pass rushers in the game. Card number three, he is only five foot 11, but this is still a good card in my opinion. It's gonna be Ken Riley, 92 speed, 92 man, 90 zone, acceleration acceleration's good. I will be playing him as a slot defender, which means I'm going to blitz him a lot with that 92 speed, and we can mix up our coverages because he has the 92 man and 90 zone. He's the second fastest or tied for number one uh, as far as cornerbacks go with 92 speed now, him and Night Train Lane. So really, really good looking card there and a new name to the game. I can't say that I've ever seen him in Madden Ultimate Team, so that's a W. Kurt Warner, they revealed this one on GMM last night. I'm sorry, on Twitter last night. By the way, for Ken Riley, he's going to get inside shade for 4 AP with that ability token unlock. So that's like one of the newer abilities for this year's game. It's been in previous titles, but nobody's got it unlocked so far this year. Kurt Warner is going to be the first set feet lead quarterback. So if you use that ability token, you can get set feet lead, but it's also going to be 4 AP, which I think is a little bit overpriced there. Uh, best pocket, pocket passer in the game for sure. He lacks speed. He can also get hot route master because he's so slow. I'd probably stay away from this car, but it still looks really good. Next, we have Syracuse legend Marvin Harrison, 92 speed slot receiver or playmaker archetype, but I would probably play him in the slot. Uh, 91 short and deep route running, 89 mid, catch at 88, catch and track. Traffic 91 spec catch at 88. He's going to get route technician with that ability bucket uh, that you can unlock with the collectible, but route tech for 4 AP again, a little bit too pricey for me, but it's good to see those abilities start to come in the game. There's going to be one other wide receiver that's an LTD that I'm going to show you in a moment, but I'll say it now, the wide receiver market is going to crash and there's going to be a lot of really good 90 and 91 speed receivers that you can pick up for dirt cheap because we got the CD lamb yesterday. We got this Marvin Harrison and we got one other LTD that I'll show you in a moment like I said we finally get not only a good free safety but a good free safety who gets good man coverage Paul Krause Justin Simmons good cards but their man coverage stinks not for this Ronnie Lott 92 speed 90 man 91 zone 92 hit power he's gonna get deep out zone KO for 3 AP with that ability token that's absolutely huge I like this card I think you can use him as sub linebacker as well but this is a Another one I will certainly be picking up. Here are the LTDs. So we got Michael Irvin, really good looking card. I won't waste my coins on it. It's against my religion, but 92 speed, 90 deep and mid route running, 93 short, catch, catch and traffic, spec catch, jumping, all good. It's another 92 speed receiver though. And again, this is why I think the wide receiver market's going to crash. So Justin Jefferson's going to tank in price. Garrett Wilson, who I spent like 700K on and still didn't sell yet, is going to drop in price. Jamar Chase's most feared card obj's aka are probably all going to go down in price because of marvin harrison and michael irvin and then we get another reggie white card i'm not a big fan of repeating legends this early in the year we saw it with ed reed we now got it with reggie white who is an eagles legend by the way but of course because i rock an eagles theme team i'm happy about this card 85 speed defensive end with 92 block shed 92 power move 91 finesse move he's got the big three all at 90 plus. He also has 93 strength. You could probably play him at defensive tackle as well. So really good card. Probably going to be pricey on both of those LTDs. And now you're probably wondering, how do I get these cards? So they're going to have a bunch of lower overall versions of these players. And I'm going to be honest, I'm still a little confused here. So it says exchange any 588 to 89 overall players to receive 191 OVR all Madden champion. So to me, that reads that you can put any 88s in the game in there. And if you invest in an 88s, you could potentially be making bank right now. Myself, I believe I have a total of either nine or 10 of them. And you can see a lot of them are from the Campus Hero promo. Basically what I did is I took 584s and I went to the Campus Hero sets and build out these 88s. If you have a bunch of 84s in your possession, those will probably go up in price as well. Or you can use them to go out and build 88s if you want to prep for these. 
Uh, I'm ch checking this on the fly here, but yeah, it looks like they've gone up from about 110k to 140k. So I honestly thought they would go up to even more. I thought they'd be closer to 200k than they were 100k. So I actually think this is kind of inexpensive, but if you invested in 88s for 140k, uh, you could probably make some coin here, or you can go ahead and get ready to get these all Madden cards really quick. Uh, and then going back to this graphic here, the only reason I say I'm a little concerned is because if you look at the graphic, it only has all Madden cards on the screen. Now that simply just could be because of the graphic. And also you probably noticed that Ricky Williams is on here, which means he's going to get a card. This is a two-part promo. So part two is going to feature a Ricky Williams running back. If you want that, he didn't get a running back card at all last year, I don't think, aside from maybe one LTD. But those are the set requirements for the 91s. Let's just hope it's not only uh, all Madden cards. It doesn't say it in the description, but the picture makes me a little bit nervous. I, I think it'll be any cards. There will be a field pass for this promo. If you take a look here, level 18, big W, free 91 overall BND all Madden player. You're going to get three random choices. You get to pick one of them. Uh, you also get a BND 88, which is kind of stupid because the 88s are going to be the same players as the 91s. So they might be somewhat useful, but you can't have like the 91 of the player and the 88 at the same time. So that's a little disappointing. Would have been better if it was non BND so you could use it in the 91 champion sets. You got season two XP in there. You see the Madden upgrade tokens. That's for that free left tackle John Madden that we showed you in the beginning. There's also a strategy item in here. Uh, you see the champion ability token at level 16. We have solo challenges that are going to give you XP towards the all Madden field pass. And you're going to get a bunch of 82 and 85 overall cards. You get another free 88 overall at tier eight within the solo challenges. So a lot of free content, but I think the best part of it is that free 91 at the end of the field pass. And this is a two part promo that's likely going to end next Thursday. And then we'll see the harvest promo drop after that here is that strategy item which is absolutely cracked it gives you only boosts on all madden players not your entire team and it does go down in power as of 11 15 when this promo will come to an end and 11 15 i think not only is the date that we can expect the harvest promo to start but likely season three to start as well and there's going to be a limit to time event now there's kind of various takes on this one that i have i love these ltd events they've done it twice now this is the third one you can see the requirements to enter this down below at the bottom six plus all madden players you have to use that strategy item that i just showed you if you win a super bowl here is the reward now everybody's going to look at the number in the upper right and throw a fit and cry and complain about it it's still a really good card it's a 91 speed receiver with good route running and good catching so i'm not overly focused on the 90 overall i like the attributes on the card and it's a you know it's a cool legend as well isaac bruce so is it going to be worth the grind that i don't know we'll have to see but it's going to be similar to those two other ones for the free darren waller and then the one we just had with the most feared promo where if you win a super bowl this is the reward it's auctionable so if you're really good at the game you can make some coin off of it and also it's going to be an opportunity to earn xp within the field pass because i'm sure there's going to be certain objectives within this game mode that you need to convert or complete i'm sorry uh, to earn xp to max out that field pass to eventually get that free 91 and then we end with the legends in that are coming saturday these will be 91 ovrs if you saved your legend tokens you could potentially get one of these cards for free looks like troy aikman or maybe tony romo on the left in the middle it's got to be an eagle player right brian dawkins uh keith byers maybe i don't know we'll see and then on the right uh, which I think is going to be the LTD, it's a Falcon for sure. I think it's either going to be, because TJ said it's near and dear to his heart, I think it's either going to be Tony Gonzalez or LG Crumpler, because he uses that as his nickname. But I'm excited, we're getting another Eagle player likely in the middle there. And there you have it. A lot of really good cards. When the content goes live later today, we got you covered with the video, but I'm very excited about this promo. Way better than most feared, and the cards seem to be somewhat obtainable. Thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.